I know you're like, what's this greasy Negro doing? No, I'm not Jermaine Jackson. I'm the FBA, and I'm about to tell you a secret. I'm going to share with you one of the most important beauty secrets that I have kept with me since uh, my mother's uh, best friend, my an auntie of mine, told me when I was in middle school, starting to get pimples. <sighs> baking soda. This is German, I have home, but it's just baking soda. And she told me that you can use this to exfoliate your skin. And I've experimented with it over the years. And I've added it to, and, and when I say add, I mean just in the palm of my hand, not like making some big concoction. Add it to the palm of my hand um, to any kind of facial cleanser, um, soap-free, and washed and, and scrubbed gently, 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 gently massaged and rubbed. Great, great, great exfoliator. Um, have you ever seen like any of those expensive salt rubs that you can use all over your body that companies like Organics or whatever it's called? Um, so that's basically what this is. This is a salt, and you're making a rub. Now, I have mixed mine with um, this face and body massage oil with almond oil, vitamin E, and sandalwood. And it's really great because it has a lot of uh, healthy ingredients like neem, turmeric. Um, and so I mix this half a teaspoon, about a half a teaspoon of this in the palm of my hand, mix, and I rub, 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 scrub my face. Um, and this is great as a pre-shaver, uh, but you can't do it too often. So maybe uh, for men, I would say maybe maximum twice a week, um, and for women, uh, once a week. Um, and here I've made a concoction of this in one of these old, <laughs> cos expensive cosmetic things. Um, like I said, I know it's convenient to have them. There are some really great scrubs out there, and this is what I did. I just took one of the old cosmetic things, and this will sit. And the baking soda will sit at the bottom and the oil will sit on top, uh, preserving it. And to this mixture, I've also added a couple of drops of mint oil. You can um, add any kind of essential oils that you have that you think would be good for your skin. Tea tree oil or maybe there are other um, oils that uh, purportedly are great for your skin. Or maybe you just like the smell. Um, but make sure it's something that's natural, doesn't have preservatives, because that's the whole point. Like I said, there are lots of great scrubs out there. Um, my favorite scrubs are the Clinique for Men scrub and the Body Shop for Men. They both have pumice. They're really great. Um, in third place, I would put the um, the generic version of the St. Ives. It's a ment um, mentholated um, scrub. Really, really great scrubs. And so I know that they're easy to use um, because they're packaged and you just do and it's done. But this is something that you can put all over your body um, for a fraction a fraction of the price. You can use olive oil um, and baking soda. You can use sesame oil. You can use, I mean, a range of things. You could use castor oil if you want to. Castor oil is really thick. Um, jojoba oil. I would use jojoba oil. It's more expensive. But, but an oil that you can afford, coconut oil, and just put it all over. It's even a great bonding activity between you and your partner. Somebody's got to scrub your back. And I say that it's a beauty tip. But I also want to emphasize that this is a health tip. Healthy skin is beautiful skin. Um, and so exfoliating every once in a while, including the whole body, is really, really great. So I'm not just sitting here naked just to show you, but I'm showing you that, you know, you should really scrub, including, like, scrubbing towards your heart and blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry if my nudeness offends you. Um, I know that a lot of Americans tend to grow up very ashamed um, of our bodies. Um, but I've seen so many piece, pieces and parts of people's bodies all over the world um, that I have no problem showing you mine. Um, and I wish you'd be less ashamed, uh, less ashamed of yours. But I also wish you would take care of more. Touch it. Feel it. Take an interest in it. And don't just go to, the sh go to the market and expect for someone to provide you with some magical solution. Because think about it. We were beautiful long before there, were any, there was any, you know, Louis Vuitton, Moet, Hennessy conglomerates to sell us all manner of products. Bye. Happy, 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 healthy living. Oh, before I forget, these are just the basics. You can go on from there. You can add, I mean, you could add, for example, um, you could put basil in here um, and it would give it a nice scent, but also the extract would uh, is great for skin. I mean, there are so many things. Rosemary is another great one that you can put and let sit in the oil. Yes, fresh rosemary, and you want it to be completely covered, immersed in the oil. So just a lot of things that you can do with it. 
And if you need ideas, okay, go to the shops and read what ingredients those people have. And take the ingredients that you understand. And all the sodium this and laurel sulfate that, skip that. Just put the real thing that they're bragging to you about. The thing that they're bragging to you about is has shea butter. Just get some shea butter. Okay? You can do the same thing with shea butter. Treat your skin well, and it's winter. I went to uh, L'Occitane yesterday. I went to the mall yesterday, and it was disgusting. I'm now coming with a whole new topic. but um, there, were, there was Lancome, uh, Estee Lauder, MAC, Clinique, uh, L'Occitane, uh, Lush, uh, Forest Essentials, Cardi. Um, I mean, you know, and every, every uh, Indian brand on top of that. And, and at a certain point, you're just thinking, geez, like healthy living and beauty is so basic. But you could actually put so, money, so much money into it. And L'Occitane, when, when the guy showed me the 100% shea butter, and I was like, oh my God, the place where shea butter comes from, they cost that much. And you're giving this much for this much. It's shocking. I know I've seen people make shitalu in Mali, literally from the nuts on the tree to, you know, steering and blah, 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 all around. Not that complicated. You can do this. You can do this. You don't need them all. They don't have the answers for you.